Hi, I'm Amber, mum to Brooklyn. And I'm Chloe, and mum to Marley. And we're catching up on what's new since the last series of Team Mum UK. Marley's potty trained. Good. Puppy training. Training Jordan to get her out of bed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, it's busy, but fun. I mean, Steve, much closer now. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, we've got, we got a good friendship going on. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, mm -hmm. but I'm glad to say that we're actually in a really good place now. So, yeah, and it's really good for me, but I'm, like me and Brooklyn. Yeah, definitely. We feel like we're a family unit again. Oh, gosh, a big change for me would be, I think, just getting to grips with the life. Homeowner, mummy, mummy to a dog. Yeah. Like mum life. Mum life. Yeah. You know. When I went on holiday, my 21st birthday, yeah, the present nice. of my mum and stuff like it was just really, really nice. I didn't expect that. You know, like I felt like I felt like Amber then. Yeah. I mean. Keep yourself sane. That's yeah. I feel. So it's nice. I think my favourite memory from that series would be obviously getting sunny. Yeah. Like yeah. I actually couldn't imagine not coming downstairs now to this wagging tail, like yeah, yeah, yeah. licking everywhere, like. It's like a dog version of Marley. Yeah, literally. Like they're best friends. Like, they? Love each other. Like all they do is play. From the minute they get up to night, they just play all day. Oh, that's cute. Me and Jordan are still good. Still yeah. together. Um, Jordan struggles quite a lot this series with how he's feeling and his emotions. Oh, so. Yeah, so let's see how that goes. I think the lowest point for me was probably what went on between me seeing his ex-girlfriend. I just think that time for me, the whole self was just really hard. Hard and horrible time. Yeah. So obviously I really wanted to be with him. I think my lowest point from last series was like me and Jordan going through such a hard time as a relationship. Like, will we work out? Will this happen? Yeah. Are we going to both put the effort in? Are we going to stay strong for each other, for Marley? Or are we just going to call it a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. I think something what I've learned is probably stay strong and not let certain situations get the better of me. Yeah, positive vibes only. Yes, definitely. I think what I've learned from last series to now is that me and Jordan can fight through anything. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. I feel like this series is more concentrated on me yeah. and like Brooklyn than Amber and Steve's father. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway. yeah, it should, it should be a good one. I hope fans will see from me the series, but I'm trying with yeah. Jordan yeah. and that I'm putting 110% in. Yeah. I think for me, pushing Jordan and being like, come on, we can do this. You've got to realise everyone's different. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's different. Exactly. Right. But yeah, you're doing well. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks well. babes. You too. You're welcome. Since you last saw us on the show, we've had some big life changes. Um, me and the children now have our own home. Um, Dulcie May can now walk and talk. Mackenzie can talk properly, like put full sentences together. Um, yeah, so we've had quite a few big life changes, really. The biggest challenge I've had to deal with since I was last on the show is um, learning how to become a single mum of two kids under three. Um, and it definitely definitely wasn't easy but um, you get there and obviously I've learnt what to do and we've got our own routine so that's probably the biggest challenge since you've last seen me on the show. Mine and Dylan's relationship can be a bit rocky sometimes um, it just depends who he's around and what company he's in but most of the time we're fine we're civil for the children we don't really talk unless it's to do with the kids which is how it should be yeah, so yeah our relationship is all right it, it, does us, it gets us by. In 10 years, I would hopefully be with my own bit of land somewhere, with a house or a lodge or something for me and the children, um, and like my own little projects on the land, and me and the kids being stable and happy, and who knows, even a husband and some more kids, but let's not get our hopes up, eh? From this series, I hope people will take away that it's okay to not be okay and obviously people go through a lot in their life um, and it's okay to be upset, it's okay to be down from that um, and yeah, just really look at the struggles and what we've all been through on this series and take something positive away from it. 
most exciting bit will probably be uh, Mackenzie's birthday and obviously like his actual birthday and opening his presents and his party and stuff. That was probably the most exciting and funniest bit for me in this series. Hi, I'm Sassy and I'm to Zania and Zania's two. Hi, I'm Shannon, I'm mum to Theodore and Theodore is 22 months. So what have you been up to since the last series? Well, me and Charlie kind of got things back on track. There were obviously like a few bumps in the road along is the way. Is he living with you now? No, he's not living with me. Right. He probably won't do anytime soon. I prefer it like that as well because sometimes it just stays like one night in, in, on the weekend we argue. Like we even argue when he doesn't stay, do you know what I mean? So if we like live together, we just wouldn't work. Well, yeah, it just yeah. wouldn't work. So what's been going on with you since last year? Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, my whole happy ever after crashed before my eyes. My life was just upside down, literally. And it's yeah. still upside down right now. Yeah. I'd say my favourite memory from last year is in his beauty pad gym, because I was on holiday, so I didn't get to see it. So it was really, like, it was special to me that the film crew yeah. was there to film it, because then when it went on TV, that was my first time to see it. And I feel like Darren really, he did a really, really yeah, good job. He did. Like he did, he's, he's just such a good dad to her, and that is that is one thing that I really hold in my heart for Darren because no matter what's going on between me and him, he is actually always a good dad to Zania. Cute. Um, my favourite memory was probably my mum's wedding. They've been together since like forever. That gives me hope. Yeah. That gives me hope. Yeah. Maybe one day <laughs> I will get married. Maybe. I think the lowest point for me in that series was not having a job. Yeah. And Darren didn't have a job. Like, we were both just in a really, really bad situation. My lowest point was definitely when we went to New Yorker. We just argued, like... Oh, the whole time? But not the whole time, but, like, most of the time. So, we had an argument at a restaurant, and he told me that I got pregnant on purpose to Theodore, and that he didn't, ha like, have any feelings for me until recently. So then the next day we were on um, like the rooftop terrace thing and I wanted to ask him like why he had said all of that. He just like was so nasty that to me. That is really bad. So then I kind of like got up. The only thing that was left on the table was my drink and I just picked it up and like put Spoiled it in. Him. Yeah. I am really proud of myself this series because you know what there was times where I just felt like there is no literal way out here. Like, I'm actually going to drown in all this mess. But still, I'm still here. Still me. Still sassy. So, <laughs> yeah. I hope fans will see that I'm a much happier person in the series. I get told a lot as well that I moan loads and that I just don't stop moaning. All I do is moan. It's natural to moan. It's natural to cry. It's natural. Yeah. I'm telling you, half the nation, does your partner not leave the toilet seat up <laughs> and not even flush the chain? <laughs> That's a moan, people. That's a moan. Yeah.